this organization. The upcoming year will prove to be pivotal for this assembly as we seek to identify the parameters for the post-2015 development agenda. The magnitude of the task before us will require decisive action and the highest levels of collaboration, and we must prove ourselves and our efforts to be equal to the enormity of our task. I intend to de dedicate significant time and resources to the issues of reforming and revitalizing the main bodies of this, our institution, this very assembly and the Security Council. We are all in agreement that reform of these bodies is needed and is simply unacceptable to do nothing since this poses a major hindrance to this organization realizing its full potential and is an immense disservice to the peoples of the world who rely on us and look to us with a sense of hope and possibility. As we focus on stopping the threat of further use of chemical weapons, we should not lose sight of the broader situation. And in particular, the victims of this atrocious and ongoing conflict. The terrible attack on 21st August was one of many that have collectively killed well over 100,000 people in Syria during the past two and a half years. Most of those deaths can be attributed to conventional weapons such as guns and mortars with the children making up a large proportion of the casualties. While the use of chemical weapons is unacceptable, the mass loss of civilian life, whether due to conventional or non-conventional weapons, is also intolerable.